Hello and welcome back. Can you see and this? Who do you think uh, I received these wonderful Christmas card handmade? They were from uh, Mr. Vincent Basciano. Since there were so many requests for doing the part two on Mr. Basciano, I would like to answer your request. My name is Dr. Samurai, a professor specialized in international sociopathology and also a uh, prison counselor of 20 year experience. Also, like uh, Mr. Basciano, somebody called Basciano, I have been uh, an exchange in communications with their, some of their ultimate extreme prison friends in American uh, correction system. They are, in a sense, my teachers. From them, I can learn so many things from different angle, which is usually from down under. So, uh, I would like to uh, introduce those angles too to you which is very rare to get anywhere else okay that's enough and let's get back to uh, uh, this story this time I'd like to talk about uh, who uh, Mr. Basciano is based on my uh, own information <clears throat> his father was not uh, alcoholic or anything. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Mr. Basciano said he did, didn't drink at all. That uh, he was uh, somewhat uh, childish, tried to uh, occupy his wife to himself. So Mr. Basciano decided to uh, uh, live out of his family home when he hit uh, 16 years old or so when he entered high school. Since then he has been surviving only with his fist, which Mr. Vescano said. <clears throat> and uh, because he established himself way younger than uh, normal kids because of this uh, unusual family condition, he has this uh, personality that does not uh, depend upon other people. He was always fighting on his own. And he could not uh, forgive the bully who is bullying the weak. So he uh, saved multiple, you know, uh, victims, which he didn't remember. But uh, one of the bullied was uh, some uh, connected uh, guy's relative. So when he graduated from high school, he was the only one so young who was in a picture filled with the uh, mafia show. Although he never told me he was one. And he never said that he uh, belonged to a uh, mafia. He didn't even remember he and saved that boy related to a uh, mafia. I, I hear uh, those uh, police officers uh, was uh, wondering what, the, what that young boy is doing here among all those uh, big shots and stuff like that. When he went to... Uh, <clears throat> a bar one night, he met with uh, Angelica. It's a fake name, okay? And it was a first sight love kind of thing. He and his friend called Angelica over. And uh, I heard this story from Angelica herself. I mean, he does, she doesn't usually drink, okay? But I uh, asked to come with her friends and she could not uh, decline that. So it was a very unusual deal. She was at the uh, bar. Keanu, Mr. Basciano liked her. If my memory is correct, 
She was with some other guy at the bar. And I don't know who did that, but uh, uh, when she uh, wa was about to uh, go home, his car, his car was uh, burning. I don't know who did it, but uh, that was the beginning of uh, their relationship, and they are still uh, happily married. You know, this Angelica was a very smart lady. She owned her own uh, uh, shop, which was kind of successful, and uh, they got together, right? And Mr. Basquiano also uh, had this, uh, have this talent of uh, managing business, uh, video shops, and all those things. The two of them, and and uh, gradually they are moving into uh, real estate. Uh, business and they were very successful. Mr. Basquiano kept telling me I did not earn money through illegal way. He kept saying that again and again and again. So I am honest enough to believe what he said. <clears throat> I am pretty much sure he earned a lot of money in uh, legit businesses you know he was entrepreneur talked about uh, doing uh, spaghetti meat sauce uh, business together uh the samurai is uh spaghetti popular over there in japan and stuff and he thought uh, he has this friend who makes a great meatball sauce so put it in uh glass bottles and thought uh, you know he was going to uh, ship it to Japan and I'm going to retail it but uh, I was not for doing business so I didn't get along with it you know not sure I could sell all the stuff as uh, Mr. Basquiano was uh, expecting but uh, it is true he was very ambitious uh, in, uh, in terms of making business and make money. One time I told him, <clears throat> I'm not into uh, materials like I was when I was young. <laughs> so uh, I said, if you were driving a Cadillac, you easily miss uh, dandelions on the uh, side of the road and Mr. Basquiano said uh, you know there are ways to notice uh, roadside dandelions even if we drive a Cadillac <laughs> that was uh, his uh, philosophy he was kind of thin person but uh, as his uh, business progressed, uh, he became uh, kind of a, uh, you know, very manly and uh, dressy, and he is very handsome-like. And I one time mentioned uh, uh, Mr. Basquiano kind of looks like uh, Andy Garcia. Angelica reply, he was more handsome than Andy when he was younger. I was uh, in good on good terms with uh, you know his uh, wife too. Uh, gradually, uh, he succeeded uh, in his uh, other business too. Famous for being uh, ruthless, you know, his style was you know old style. You know, what he kept telling me was. Uh, Shaking hand means a lot in a world. That uh, was his habit. So that means once he shook hands with the other person, he trusted, never betrayed from his side, right? And uh, he was uh, financially successful. Also, he was known to be uh, aggressive, not afraid of uh, 
you know, uh, those things. <clears throat> so he uh, gradually became, uh, you know, well known in the family and he knew the right connections. The person he worked for was a good person and he was kind of upped in the organization and uh, that also helped him known in his uh, organization, I think. It was all, all past thing though. Then uh, he uh, uh, became one of the captains. At the time, Mr. Massino was arrested and there were so many acting boss and captains who uh, took care of uh, outside world business uh, according to what uh, Mr. Messino says inside the prison <clears throat> and uh, that turn finally came to uh, uh, Mr. Basquiano although I'm not sure exact time when he was uh, pretty much powerful in the organization this uh, young Italian-American gang, Dominic Sicali, approached him. And uh, Angelica kindly told me she was at the time in the car looking at their first encounter, she said. And what she said was uh, Dominic was approaching uh, Vincent like some kind of sweethearts or something, you know? He was always like that. So I guess uh, Dominic was very good at showing obedience and uh, winning uh, trust from a powerful person. As you, uh, you know, well know, in the uh, Italian-American uh, people who are into a violent world, Becoming a made man, official member of the Mafia family means a lot. That's why the made members are so small number. Because uh, they have to uh, open a notebook and get the agreement from uh, every each one of the five family bosses. You know? So it was very difficult thing. It was when uh, uh, Mr. Vincent was already acting boss for uh, uh, Massino inside. He promoted uh, some people uh, up to be made members, which uh, Mr. Massino may not have liked, because. Uh, he was promoting people that uh, without uh, getting uh, permission from the boss, you know. But uh, I th I, I'm pretty much sure Mr. Basquiano thought he needed them as his, uh, you know, uh, soldiers, so to speak. <laughs> but anyway, he trusted this... Uh, Dominic too much. So uh, according to uh, Angelica, he uh, promoted him to be a maid member in a month and uh, within uh, half a year or so, this uh, Dominic was promoted to be a captain and stuff. But uh, later on, this Dominic betrayed Mr. Basquiano and uh, stood on the trial to uh, uh, convict Mr. Basquiano. I asked Mr. Basquiano about that and uh, he uh, clearly said he could take Massino betrayed him but uh, it was more difficult to understand why Dominic that uh, I took good care of and promoted to higher up betrayed me. It was much tougher to him. That's Mr. Basquiano's voice. And uh, later on, uh, I heard uh, uh, Dominic was uh, uploading uh, some kind of YouTube ranting against uh, 
Mr. Basquiana, although he did not mention exact name, you know, Dominic was saying something like, uh, all those uh, old timers who are uh, in life, you know, in prison, or uh, like uh, dinosaurs. They don't know the uh, flexibility they need to uh, live today's society or whatever. His father was a uh, not a maid member, but a bit into uh, the, that world. And when uh, uh, Mr. Basquiano kind of uh, passed Dominic's father in a New York jail, uh, his father was uh, apologizing, saying if he could, he would uh, kill his own boy. But uh, I, I think uh, it all came from uh, Mr. Basquiano's uh, generous, you know, uh, personality. Uh, Angelica told me during the, you know, Christmas season, Mr. Basquiano's car was filled with the Christmas presents to uh, those even unknown to them. He kind of uh, gave a present to a poor uh, family, you know, business family members, and all, also those whom he did not know so well, that he was that kind, you know, although, on the other hand, he could be very tough. But once he trusts, he trusts the person all the way. Uh, I asked uh, Angelica, was there any uh, advantage for her? Uh, being uh, a wife of such a powerful person and uh, uh, she said one time she took a cab and uh, you know in her store uh, they were talking and, uh, and her husband's name came up in a natural stream and uh, suddenly the driver's attitude to her changed and stuff you know so he was uh, that famous in the uh, New York. She said she also, they also moved to a better neighborhood uh, and had a, a great home. But uh, because of this, uh, his arrest, she said that she lost uh, a lot of money, almost everything, for this, uh, for his husband's trial. Mr. Basquiano was uh, kind of teaching me. When you judge a person, you have to judge him not on his words, but on his acts. He said, uh, I should have known better at the time when uh, Dominic was treating his mother very uh, bad. At the time, I should have noticed that. But uh, he was kind of up and rising. So it was very difficult for him to uh, notice those things. You know, those things we can only notice when uh, we uh, grew up, right? So he kind of advised me that you better be very careful. You know, uh, he was arrested, right? First for uh, kind of... Uh, kind of racketeering, but uh, uh, behind that, uh, prosecutor's side was uh, looking at the two murders. One of them threatened uh, Mr. Basquiano to kill one of his kids. You know, that kind of thing, even I couldn't take. You know, and uh, also. Uh, uh, one time he uh, received a uh, uh, death penalty too because uh, uh, he uh, allegedly offered to kill a, a judge who was, you know, taking care of uh, Massino's uh, trial. But everything was for his boss. And this uh, Massino, although Massino was uh, his boss, that means... Mr. Vincent does whatever he tells him to do, right? He was wiring 
but uh, th I, I hear that uh, you know uh, killing the scheme of the judge part was not wired but uh, all the rest of the murders were clearly wi you know wired and recorded you know I'm a Japanese but uh, I hear Mr. Basquiano said uh, Massino couldn't even see Mr. Giangotti's face when they were talking to each other. Massino having been a grocery, you know, retailer. You know that the silver bullet like a car that carries groceries and go around the neighborhood and stop and sell things. When he was young, he was doing that. And since I am a specialist, I am telling you, your identity is pretty much made by the first occupation you take. It's like a, even in a correctional officer, you know, at the uh, Japanese prison, there are two types. One is from a juvenile institute. The other is adult prison, you know, the first uh, uh, assignment. They their personalities and characters are totally different. Those coming from juvenile uh, institutions are teachers. You know, they try to uh, rehabilitate. But uh, those correctional officers starting from uh, prison is more like a uh, security guard. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, when I heard that uh, Massino sold Mr. Basquiano, who was honest and loyal to his boss all the way, and he betrayed, right? I, I kind of understood because he was just a merchant. I repeat it, he was just a merchant. Although many people don't care once he became boss and stuff, you know, he kind of orchestrated uh, 22 murders and stuff. But I don't think uh, he could uh, have done that on his own. A merchant is always merchant. That's why he uh, cooperated with the government to save his own life by selling his loyal uh, junior. <clears throat> that is the first thing in the history of uh, I think mafia the boss turn over to uh, government I'm not saying I'm on the side of this uh, legal organization as a person law of nature I just couldn't take it physiologically you know but uh, still he said uh, Massino turn over he could take I guess uh, uh, he had a good time with him too because uh, uh, Angelica told me uh, most of the Sundays they spent like uh, five, six hours eating dinner together and talking about things. So, And uh, who promoted uh, Mr. Basquiano was uh, Massino. So I think he still owed Mr. Massino. But... Uh, he was not like uh, that type of person. By the way, the other day I was web surfing and the YouTube found out uh, Mr. Sammy Gravano's, Sammy the Bull's uh, YouTube video. And I was so glad that uh, he was pointing out this, uh, this part that I was talking about. Uh, Mr. Machino's betrayal on uh, Mr. Basquiano, who was loyal all the way. Uh, Sammy the Bull couldn't take it. And uh, I was kind of glad that uh, regardless of uh, the kind of business Mr. Basquiano was in, the Massino did was a pure, you know, betrayal. And uh, uh, Sami the Bull, the underboss of 
at the time the most powerful Gambino family, highly evaluated Mr. Basquiano and I kind of uh, was uh, very glad that uh, somebody had the same feeling as I do. He is now at uh, Big Sandy where so many young gangs were prevalent and uh, always locked down, you know. And, uh, but he is now protected the uh, young people who naturally was attracted to uh, Mr. Basquiano. Let me tell you one thing. All those people who uh, meet with him, including the correctional office officers, they change because of their aura and also their honesty and respect that comes from Mr. Basquiano. He is something like that, you know. He could change people who he have access to. And he was kind of saying he's a very smart person. So I still remember he confessed to me I still have, uh, you know, chosen a uh, way of a uh, politician or something. You know, if I spent the uh, same amount of energy, probably he could have made it, you know. And uh, his wife, Angelica, also told me, his wife said he could have become a president of the United States. She thought he had that talent. And uh, I kind of agree, you know, but... Uh, Sometimes the environment they were born to didn't even give them a hint of the possibility of they can be uh, politicians, you know? So that is not unfair. And I would like to close this uh, Mr. Basquiano part two session by reading uh, uh, his uh, letter. Which I have here. This was when uh, he would be transferred. He goes, I'm sorry not having been able to uh, write you earlier. I have been busy on many uh, uh, fronts. Uh, last week I received the word that I will be moved to the next stage of the step down process which is across the street at the uh, different facility. When you receive this letter, I will be at the following address. This means uh, he was at the point of uh, being transferred from uh, uh, Florence ADX maximum prison to the just the Florence U.S. Penitentiary, the one step down. Send all the future correspondence to that address, he goes. And uh, at the time, uh, the previous letter, I talked about the uh, scent of a woman, the uh, starring Al Pacino, and he is writing about it. Yes, indeed, I watched the scent of a woman Stalin Al Pacino, a classic for sure. He basically stated that the U.S. wanted to raise a society of rats, and those who don't conform were looked at as dishonorable. However, Pacino stated that those who didn't rat were actually the honorable ones. Great movie. He received the cell searches and he goes, regarding my cell searches, it is common practice within the BOP policy for random shakedowns. However, when I was in New York and correction officers destroyed my cell almost every day basis. Where I am now, that means uh, Florence ADX. Highest security prison, okay? Where I am now is a holiday compared to what I experienced in New York. 
in some ways, however, it strengthened my uh, resolve. And upon my arrival here at ADX, I realized how bad I had it in New York because this place seemed like a five-star hotel to me. You know how hard it was when he was in New York. He one time told me that, uh, you know, he had to eat uh, from the floor with the uh, rats and the cockroaches and stuff, but he never cried. True story. And he was every day looking at the mirror. And when I don't see my face in the mirror, that is when I disappear. And he every day confirmed that uh, he never lied to himself. But uh, you, you, you understand everything. He, he was talking about rap in the center of a woman. Society is giving a higher evaluation on those who rats and those who try to protect his friends were taken as being dishonorable. It's like uh, as a social pathologist, everything is about money now. Those with money and power, they can buy justice. And I don't think that is right. What is right is right and wrong is wrong, regardless of who and uh, at what status did that. We have to protect this, uh, you know, providence, you know, and nobody can cross that, you know. Doesn't matter whether he was the boss or underboss or, you know, ordinary people. And uh, that's uh, what uh, Mr. Basquiano made me feel. And I am very glad that uh, he is now at least uh, at a better condition because uh, you know, he can communicate with the other youngsters who uh, respect him, you know. And he is a real thing and I uh, here like to thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Samir Grabano, to uh, notice uh, uh, Mr. Basquiano's greatness and loyalty, who never betrayed and, uh, like you were, handshake meant everything to him. He was like an all-time gangster, and uh, I'm uh, very uh, happy that uh, a person of your stature recognized Mr. Basquiano as a straight guy who goes all the way to his creed. That is my last word. If you like this kind of video, uh, please read Dr. Samurai logos. And I'm going to upload at least twice a week. Okay, until next time, please have a wonderful time. And again, thank you very much, Mr. Grobato, for noticing Mr. Basquiano.